Hi guys, Jamie here, hope you're well. We're gonna make the most delicious chicken recipe that's beautiful, super healthy, and a brilliant midweek meal. To guarantee that I get perfect results, I am using my T-Fail Red Collection stainless steel range of pans. The ultra-resistant non-stick coating makes cooking this dish an absolute breeze. And this little beauty here, the thermo spot, tells you when you've hit the right temperature to start cooking. Brilliant. Let's get cracking on with the recipe. We're gonna whack a little marinade together. We're gonna do olive oil into a bowl. We're gonna go in with a little vinegar, or you could use lemon juice if you want. And we're gonna use some lovely flakes of chili. Salt, pepper, and that's a very simple little marinade right there. Now, with the chicken, we can put it straight in, but before I do that, you wanna have a little score up on the chicken. And what you're gonna do is allow the seasoning in, and then I'm gonna put it in the marinade, get your hands in, and push in that marinade and that seasoning into the pan. It's on a medium high heat. Let's wash our hands. And then what I wanna do is prep up some asparagus. Absolutely beautiful. So first up, I'm gonna cut at a slight angle and I'm just gonna take the lovely tips off. And then with the stalk here, I'm just gonna cut sort of two centimeter slices like that. And we've got that done. I'm using actually some frozen broad beans and peas. They're fantastic to have in the freezer, super nutritious. So into the boiling water with the peas, the broad beans, and the asparagus. Straight back on with the lid. With the chicken, let's get the tongs and turn over. Look at that, guys. But what you can see from this pan is these lovely silicon handles stop the heat getting to your hands. So it's nice to handle, it's sturdy, it's really secure. And these thick bottoms here, really, really important. These thick bottoms, very importantly, distribute the heat very evenly. And not only that, they retain the heat. So when you put things like chicken breast that are cold in it, there's still loads of heat, you know, coloring it. You can see how quickly that colored up. Now, we wanna make a nice little sauce. We're gonna get our bunch of mint like that. We're gonna rip it off like that. The mint goes in, just a little olive oil. We're gonna hit it up with some seasoning, some salt, and then we're gonna go in with some red or white wine vinegar. So we're gonna take some of that boiling water and greens straight in, and we'll whiz it up. It'll taste incredible. So this salsa is done. Very, very happy with that. We're gonna put the veggies into a nice bowl. I'm just gonna serve up one portion here. So the peas go in. We're gonna plate up a lovely chicken breast. The nice thing about slicing is it, of course, then you can see if the chicken is cooked. And then I'm gonna just come over here like this. I wanna use that salsa just bravely and boldly over the top in between all the gaps. I'll finish that off with some nice little leaves of mint around the story to remind people what's going on. And then just a lovely little bit of feta cheese. Just a little chunk here and a little bit of snow there. So guys, look a beautifully cooked dish of chicken breast, spring veggies, feta, and the most delicious mint sauce with a little bit of help from my friends at Tfal. Mm -hmm.